welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showcasing a script for the roblox game here's peace but before getting to today's video please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe don't forget to join my discord and let's get straight into the video so first of all what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description which will bring you to my website from there go to the scripts page click on any post scroll down get script now once you guys have done that you want to come into roblox and execute now I'm going to be using Fluxus, but you can use Delta or Hydrogen or whatever is updated. But there is a key system for this script. So once you guys have done that, this is what it looks like. So on the main, we've got set quest and you can select like set a specific quest for like thief, bandit, bandit boss, client, client boss and so on. But we're going to do auto detected level, but there is a choice to do no boss, but we want to do the boss. Then set our weapon. You can do melee, sword or fruit. We're going to do melee. Um, set type above below behind so we're gonna just leave it at above then we've got get quest auto set spawn for auto farm level start farm buso hockey and obs hockey and then you can select a form gear 245 auto transform for gum and set your distance so what we want to do here is set on auto set spawn and start farm so let's go ahead and do that so we'll go ahead here and get us a quest and then it will move on to the next bandit or whatever mob that uh, you're fighting for your level. Mine's currently the bandit because we're only level 11. Now it is taking me a while to kill these bandits and if I forgot to mention it is L to close and open the UI. If we come into skills or stats sorry you want to put them on combat so we uh, come to our stats it will put all of our stats onto combat well it should anyway um, if it doesn't then I don't know I think it's just glitched but we're gonna go ahead here and put in uh, combat all of our stats in combat don't know why it's not let me put in a number I think it's because we're farming so we'll turn that off and go to stats and put in 33 and then when we farm it should you know farm a lot easier now i'm not sure why the stats aren't actually working i think it's just a glitch or something like that but once they do uh fix them or if it's bugged then um i recommend having that on as well so if we come to main two we've got select a special boss white beard and mace boss and um, you can start a farm you can do super boss um then you've got start farm fire fist boss start the g4 book uh auto store the book um and then we've got the sea beast as well skills you want to go ahead and enable the skills this will help with farming as well if you've got it unlocked as you can see i've got the heavy punch unlocked but um you can go ahead and uh, use other ones if you've got them. Teleports, you can stop between and reset character and then you can change all the different islands. And once you select one, you can teleport there. But we're not going to do that just yet. Then we've got C2, teleport to gear 5, teleport to candy market. And it looks like we've accidentally teleported. So that's fine, we'll just turn off the farm um let's just go to bubble island real quick so it will take us towards an island and it should just um stop somewhere here there we go and if you cannot move around then i do recommend just pressing stop twin and it should fix it so these are all c1 uh places that you can go to i already showed you the bubble world um buy item you can select a fruit to buy you can open the fruit shop as you can see here then you can pick a scroll which is free um it says you need a certain amount of uh levels or something um you can start reset buy a wooden fishing rod buy a rare one you can buy swords fighting styles and buso obs and hockey you can buy all stuff there and then in misc we've got rejoin server hop server hop lower player server use codes fps boost 
So we're going to do use codes because that actually seems quite handy. And it should give us whatever the codes do if there's any codes. And then we can ESP fruits and players. So if we turn off the players, you can see all the different fruits in the game. Um, and there should be a select if we do clear. We can buy a fruit. Um, don't know if I have enough. I don't think I do. So yeah, you can go ahead and buy the fruit there. Um, I don't think there is a fruit farm though. Yeah, I don't think there is. But that is basically everything in today's video. So if you guys did enjoy, then please be sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.